Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legends of Zelda A Link to the Past. When we last left off, we had saved Princess Zelda from the castle, the castle dungeon that is, and we were told by a random old man to go to the village and seek out the village elder. So that's what we'll do today. Unfortunately, I just picked up a ruby, meaning I no longer have 69 rubies. Pity. Oh well. Anyway, the village isn't far, just three screens to the left and one screen down. I did a bit of practicing in between videos, so I wouldn't be completely... Yeah, uh, completely not sure what to do. In the village, you actually don't need to do much in the village at all, but there are some pieces of heart to pick up. For those who don't know, every four pieces of heart equals one extra heart container. The first one you'll find is right down here. You got some bombs. You can pick up and throw a bomb you placed. Press the A button. Bombs are kind of important for many different secrets in this game. For example, that bombable wall right there, followed by these pots, leads to a piece of heart. The majority of the pieces of hearts that I've found so far require bombs. Inside these other chests are some rubies, which you might as well pick up. There are some stores you can buy supplies at if you really want to. I'm not probably not going to, because I'm not the kind of person to ever buy supplies. I find it dull. Monsters also rarely drop bombs. Very rarely, I believe, so... What's this house? We. Hmm. Don't mind me. That's a chicken! Oh my god! Why are they keeping a chicken in the pot? That's inhumane. I'll free you, chicken. Okay, no, I won't. I can't save you. Remember, you're a wanted person. Has this person be quick to remind you? Hey, this here is Aqua! The wanted man! The soldiers! Anyone! Help! Come quickly! And if you run into random civilians, soldiers will come and attack you. It's just one guy with a spear is really easy. You just have to get up close to him, and you're good. Hmm. It's Mr. Potter. You, sir, have you been going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Well, step right up and make your life complete. I got one on the sale now for the low, low price of 100 rubies. What do you say? I'll buy a bottle. Why not? This is a magic bottle. A woot. In most Zelda games, there are four bottles, and bottles can hold anything from fairies to water. I don't know about this game, though, if you can actually hold fairies in a bottle or not. I'm pretty sure you can. And there's this guy who runs really fast, I'm not sure what to do with him yet. Anyway, to progress the storyline, you actually need to talk to this kid. And you don't actually need to talk to him, but... Hi, Aqua. Elder, are you talking about the grandpa? The grandpa? What about your... what you mean, your grandpa? Okay, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. He's hiding in the palace past the castle. I'll mark the spot on your map. Just like in a dungeon, you can open the map by pressing the whatever button. The map button. And the X shows where he is. There's the world map. Pretty cool. Hmm. I've actually heard of a lot of people recreating this world on Minecraft. And I can actually see how that would be possible. It seems pretty simple. Let's see what's down in here. Yo, Aqua. Yo, what's up, dude? This house used to be a hideout for gang of thieves, yo. The leader's name? Oh yeah, his name is Blind. He hated bright light a lot. Yo, why is the light right here then? Anyway, you go down here and you'll be hit with a block puzzle. This block puzzle can be pretty tricky if you want to get all four chests, but I'll show you how, if I can remember how. You have to do this. You can push each block once, like most block puzzles. It doesn't take... it's not that complicated to figure out, but it can take a while. I stared at it for a couple of minutes before I got it. Maybe not a couple of minutes, I wasn't exactly timing myself. Speaking of timing myself, I forgot to time myself when I started this. Hopefully there won't be another abrupt ending, like last time. You found a piece of heart. So that's my second piece of heart. I remember getting three from the village. Where was the last one? Oh, I think I remember where. Maybe that's a bottle. Either way, I'm going to grab it. Hmm. This statue looks weird. It's a bird. I wonder if that'll come in handy later. Hint, hint. 
Anyway, to get this next piece of heart, slash bottle, or whatever it is, you come in the back way, and you can open this chest right here. It's a bottle. Woot. What the? Oh, okay. Bottles are just... That makes sense. Fairly certain there are two bottles. Where's the other piece of heart? I could've sworn. I'm not gonna spend too much time looking for it. If I don't see a house that I've... I'm, I recognize I'm just gonna leave and head to the palace. I will catch every catch every what is with this picture? It is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Whoa. I had no idea you could do that. That's awesome. Is that Mario? Kinda looks like Mario. Hmm, that's cool. Anyway, we're gonna go straight to the palace to the east now, because it's quite a long trip. Let us go. I really hope there wasn't a way to get the boots that make you run really fast. Yet, if there was, well, I'm sorry. I'm not. Like I said, I haven't played this game in forever, so I don't remember anything. He. The way this boomerang flies is awesome. It makes it. It's just like all square like and such. As you can see, he'll be attacked by soldiers. Nothing special about them. They'd go down really easily. Gonna knock you into water. Gonna knock you into water. I can't knock you into water. Never mind then. You might want to avoid the water for now, considering Link can't swim. In fact, I'm just avoiding most things and walking straight there. The palace guards are not surprisingly incredibly incompetent. Here we find some Octoroks, I think. Not sure what they're doing out of the water. But they die in one hit, so no problem. And we're here at the palace entrance. Early on, the boomerang is still your best bet to stun enemies so you can get to them. Don't forget to make use of your shield, too, like I just did there. And here's the village Elda. What's up, Elder Good? Elder Good. I am indeed unpronounceable name, the village elder, and a descendant of seven wise men. Oh really, Aqua? I'm surprised a young a young man like you is searching for the sword of evil being. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say that only the hero who has a th one to three pendants can wield the sword. Do you want to find it? Yeah. Oh, there were two options. One was yeah, and one was of course. Good, as a test, you can retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace. If you bring it here, I will tell you more about the legend, give you the magical artifact, blah blah blah. It's the same old Zelda storyline, but this is probably the first where it's actually introduced. Let's bomb out this wall. Ouch. And blow myself up in the process. Ooh, three chests. You got three bombs. You got 50 rubies. You got 50 rubies. Okay. Pretty good find if I do say so myself. I might just stop at the palace entrance just to be safe. Even if this means it'll be a shorter video, but that's fine with me. Stop looking at bottles, I just want to quit my boomerang. Jeez, god, jeez. Even the statues are stunnable. Die, you stupid. Okay. Of course, getting to the palace or the dungeon entrance might be more difficult than I imagined. As you may don't die from the statue like I might. Drop a heart, please. That's a ruby. Yay. We'll just jump down here, climb up this staircase, and we... Uh, one more staircase. I don't remember all this just to get into the dungeon entrance. I remember going into the dungeon. I never completed it, but I just went and looked around a bit and then stopped. Here we are, the dungeon entrance. Next episode, we'll go venture into it. So, thanks for watching, everyone. This is Aquatic Feline, signing off.